John Oates here with Hanco Motors, uh, coming at you again here with our newest installment to our inventory. This right here that we have on our rack is a 1969 Chevrolet Chevelle Super Sport. Um, this is a Code 72 Monaco Orange car. Those only came in the Super Sport model. Um, basically, starting up under the rear end of the car here, uh, we'll do this just like we do all our other cars. Starting back here with the fuel tank, uh, looks to be a pretty new fuel tank. As you can see, it's never been painted, um, just the raw, you know, raw tank. All your mounting hardware, the straps, uh, bolts, everything like that, all in really good condition on this. Even the fuel fill neck uh, is in really good condition on this car as well. It looks as though the rear end uh, has been completely redone on this car. This is a 12 volt GM rear posi unit. Uh, it's got the drum brakes out here at either end. Looks to have new shocks on the back here also. Uh, new springs too, you can tell by the finish on the springs that those are all new. Also looks to have all new brake lines back here on the rear housing too. And as far as the rear suspension goes, um, you've got that, uh, the uh, I think they call it the metric four link back here. Um, so you got the top control arms, the lower control arms here. All the bushings, everything like that, all looks really good here too. Uh, you also have 15-inch wheels on this car. Uh, they are the Kreger SS mags, uh, and then you have the BF Goodrich rubber mounted on all of those. Uh, complete exhaust, um, clear from the long two headers mounted on the uh, big block Chevy motor. All the way back, you got a couple of Flowmaster mufflers back here. You've got the tailpipes back here. They extend all the way out with tailpipes exiting out the rear with the chrome exhaust tips here also. Uh, as far as that goes, that's pretty much the rear of the car. We'll go ahead and slide up underneath the center now, take a look at those floors. Now standing under the center of our Chevelle here, um, basically just kind of looking over the floors here so I can describe everything to you. The floors look to be in pretty excellent condition here. Um, I don't see any patching, uh, I don't see any replaced panels, nothing like that. Uh, all solid floors, um, they look to have been uh, undercoated, um, not heavy where you know, you've got big drips and so forth underneath here, just a nice light coating of undercoating and then everything's been sprayed flat black underneath here just to make everything look good. Emergency brake cables are all hooked up here for us. You've got a transmission cross member here, it looks pretty new on this car. Turbo 400 automatic transmission. Uh, and again, the headers here, um, ceramic coated long tube headers um, that, that go all the way back here through the dual exhaust all the way out the back of the car. Um, body mounts, uh, bushings, everything like that look to be in really good condition as well. Uh, brake lines, fuel line all in really good shape on this car. And now finishing up here up front on our 69 Chevelle, just going over what we see here on the front end of the car from the under underside. Uh, again, got the 15 inch wheels here with the BF Goodrich rubber. We do have disc brakes up front and those are power front disc brakes. Uh, as far as the suspension goes, it's all stock. Uh, they got the stamped uh, suspension arms here, both your upper A-arm and your lower control arms. Um, I'm trying to look here, and uh, it looks to be like they're fairly new shocks on the front. You do have the front sway bar on here. Again, that would have come on your Super Sport models. Um, all of your rubber boots, um, your sway bar end links, all the bushings, everything on the car looks to be in really good shape. Uh, bushings here for your front sway bar. They don't look too bad, they don't look cracked or anything like that. Um, so everything's in good condition on the front of the car. Uh, again, we have a big block Chevy motor here. We'll take another look at that once we're on the outside of the car there and we look under the hood. Uh, but other than that, uh, power steering, power brake car, everything looks to be in really good shape up here and well maintained. Here we are now with our 1969 Chevelle here. Finally, we've got it down off the lift here so we can go around the outside and the inside of this car for you on video. Uh, as you can clearly see here, this is a real SS Super Sport Chevelle. The reason we know this on the trim tag uh, up on the cow, that is a Code 72. That's a Monica orange uh, exterior paint, and only uh, a, a Chevelle SS Super Sport came with that color option on it. 
So that's one way of telling that this is a real super sport. Uh, obviously, again, the orange exterior, you've got the black longitudinal stripe down the side of the car there. Uh, came on a lot of these Chevelles. Uh, we've got the SS396 badges right here on the front fender. You'll find those on both sides, driver and passenger side. Um, you'll also notice that we have wheel lip moldings, front and rear, as well as the rain gutter molding around the window, uh, the side windows there. Uh, mentioning uh, the rain gutter moldings, all of your chrome trim, your bright work on the car is all in really good condition on this car. Uh, no you know, dense dings, you know, no scratches, anything like that. Um, so it's all in real good condition. Um, if you check your door gaps and so forth, everything looks to be very nice on this car. You'll notice the gap here on the door, um, just about right for the car. Elevation is very good on the car. We've got both driver and passenger side mirrors on this car. And uh, these are just, um, you know, manual adjustable mirrors. You adjust them by hand here. Uh, back here at the back of the door, again, looking at the door gap, again, pretty uniform with the front side of the, the uh, door there. Uh, real nice gaps on that. As we go ahead and open our door up, you'll notice on the inside here, we've got the little rubber bump stops, both on the top and the bottom. Weather strips are in real good shape on these doors. It's got the little GM decals here in the door GM openings. Even the little rubber U seals up here for your quarter windows are in really good condition. Throughout the interior, you have the SS396 badging. Got the factory dash there, factory gauges as well. Um, those gauges include the 120 mile an hour speedometer. You've got the the TAC uh, mounted in the dash there as well, and that's the factory TAC. Around that, you also have the gauges for your battery, the water temp, the oil pressure, and the uh, be your uh, like your alternator gauge. Um, you also have a clock right in between those two gauges. And I don't believe the clock works. Again, it was the factory clock, um, but that's kind of not you know out of the ordinary for these old cars for that not to work. Um, this is a sports style wheel here on the, on our uh, steering column. That is a tilt column as well. It's got the factory automatic center console in it. As we mentioned from the underside, it's got a turbo 400 automatic. So yes, it does have that factory automatic center console with the horseshoe shoe shifter. Um, looks like this car may have been a factory AC car. You've got the factory uh, controls there, um, but I do believe that that AC has been removed a lot of times. Guys that did that to try to get as much power out of the motors as what they could. Uh, but it does have all the vents in, in the dash just like it should. Uh, all seat belts are present. You've got the bucket seats here up front with the headdress up here as well. So we'll go ahead and shut that door. And that closes real nice and easy. And as we work our way back, uh, again, the wheel lip moldings on the rear. Uh, I'm not sure if I mentioned, but you'll notice the BF Goodrich Radio TA rubber here, uh, mounted on those Krager SS chrome steel wheels. 15 inch wheels, two 25, 60, 15 tires on the front. 235 60 15 is on the rear. Here we are around the back side of our Chevelle here, 69 Chevelle. Um, as you can see, bumpers are real nicely chromed. All of the trim, uh, your taillight bezels, um, the trim back here along the tail or the tail of the car. Uh, you got the black dot tail section here with the SS396 badging. Um, it's also dual exhaust as we went over on the underside video, but you can see those chrome exhaust tips there now not we're at the back side of the car. It's got the Chevelle emblem up here on the trunk lid as well. We'll go ahead and open up that trunk, show you inside. And first thing we'll notice is the underside of the trunk lid. It's all painted up the same as the rest of the car, Monaco orange. Uh, the trunk seals are in all good condition. There's no cracks, no splits, no tears, nothing like that, no chunks out of them. So sealing up uh, shouldn't be an issue here on this car. The trunk floor, um, real nice condition, all sprayed, uh, looks to be the correct uh, spatter paint for in the trunk here. It's got a real nice trunk mat in it as well, and it also has a full-size spare back here also for you. 
Um, that's pretty much it with the trunk area. Not too much we can really go over with that. So we'll go ahead and close this up and then we'll go ahead and walk around the passenger side of the car for you next. Okay, so we're going to walk our way up here to the passenger side of the Chevelle now. Uh, again, pretty much everything just as we went over on the driver's side, starting from the back, working our way to the front now. Um, again, you see the black longitudinal stripe down the side, the wheel lip moldings on the, the front, or the rear and the front wheel wells, those Prager Wint rims, uh, chrome steel rims, 15 inch, just as I mentioned on the other side with the BF Goodrich rubber both rear and front. Uh, as we walk our way here towards the door, uh, first thing, our drip rail moldings. Again, as I mentioned, all of the moldings, the trim, the bright work, all in really good condition on this car. Uh, and the same rings true for this side of the car. Uh, as we open our door on the driver passenger side, same thing here, you've got the little rubber bump stops, both on the top and on the bottom of the door. Got the little GM emblem, the weather stripping here on the door, really good condition. The little rubber U seals up here for your quarter window, those are in good condition as well. Your threshold plates, those are really nice. No dents, dings, anything like that. They're mounted down nice and solid. They look good in there. Carpeting is really in good condition. Nice and black, not faded. Uh, again, we've got the SS396 badging throughout the interior on the doors up here on your dash here at your glove box. Again, the factory dash, no cracks or splits or anything like that in that padded dash. Uh, we've already been over the gauges. You do have two aftermarket gauges. You have an oil pressure and a water temperature gauge mounted down underneath, like just underneath from where your radio would be. So I would assume with that that the factory water and oil gauge probably does not work. So that's why they put the aftermarket gauges in there, which would work. Uh, again, we've already mentioned the bucket seats with the headrest, all the seat belts present. Pretty much everything on the inside here that we've gone over already. When you close the door up, you'll notice your door gaps here, really nice and really uniform, both on the back side and the front side of that door with how it fits to the quarter panel and that front fender. As we work our way forward, Again, just have the wheel lip moldings here, again in good shape. Those Kreger SS wheels and the BF Goodrich rubber. Uh, again, all of your trim, your bezels, like around your marker lights even, those are all in really good condition. And here we are finally up at the front of our 69 Chevelle SS Super Sport car here. Uh, again, you see that front fascia, the front grille, uh, the headlights um, that, you know, make this Chevelle what it is. Um, you've got the SS396 front grille emblem here. Again, beautifully chrome front bumper. All your trim, your grill trim, all of that stuff is in really good condition. The headlight bezels as well. Um, so what we'll do now is I'm going to go ahead and pop the hood and we'll talk about what's uh, underneath it. Now this is a steel SS hood. So this is exactly what would have been on this car. And as we open it up, You'll see the underside of the hood is painted black. It's got the insulation in here as well, and that's in good condition. A lot of times you'll see them where they might have a little chunk or something out of them, but this is all intact, all in really good condition. Now, power plant on this car, this is a 396 cubic inch big block Chevy motor. However, this is a date correct. It's a 1969 396. It is just not the numbers match motor though. So it's date correct, 396 uh, cubic inch big block Chevy. As you can see, we've got chrome air cleaner up here with the 396 emblems on it. You've got the chrome valve covers. We've got an aluminum intake. It's a polished aluminum intake down there. We also have, uh, it's an Edelbrock single feed carburetor there uh, with the electric choke on the side of it there. So, makes those cold starts a little more bearable so it gives it a little chance to warm up there and then that choke should kick off for you. Now it looks like we've got uh, ceramic coated headers on this, long tube headers to help it breathe a little better. We've got power steering, power brakes, and again when we were under the car we would have showed you that it's power front disc brakes, rear drum brakes. Uh, we've got stock style radiator in this car. It's got the chrome trim, the chrome hold down up here for the top of the radiator. We also have a chrome fan shroud here as well. Um, and that's really uh, 
really about it. Uh, mechanical fuel pump, so nothing fancy there. Um, just an all-around good car uh, that uh, you know would look good sitting in somebody's driveway.